Hello everyone and welcome to episode 101 of the 10 minute mulling challenge and it's been a while I didn't think I'd say that in a while and I haven't in a while <laughs> it's been a year and a half or something like that so I had if you haven't seen this channel before or if you're like quite kind of new here well for about 100 episode and two years every Thursday I did a 10 minute mulling challenge video and that's how I got to practicing and learn a lot of my skills through blender doing it that way and I've had some requests to bring that back plus I think it was about time that I do some practicing more because uh, it's a uh, you have to keep the skills fresh so <laughs> if you don't model you'll lose the skills so here I am I'm gonna be back at a little bit every now and then not every week uh, but every now and then so make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already because um, you don't want to miss one of these episodes here so ha. so we'll get back to the basics now we're gonna do some modeling and what better way to do it than to model a spaceship again because that's how we got started in episode one and I also did this somewhere in the middle and I did the uh, I was thinking in one only using E2 student ST scale nearly and then I did episode 100 was a big spaceship so I want to get this started a little bit now again with a spaceship. That's why I feel comfortable because you can't really mess it up too much. Uh, well, you can mess it up too much because do you know what happened? First, I recorded an episode of the 10 minute modeling challenge, episode 101, and I realized I only recorded my face because when I was going to edit the video, I hadn't recorded the screen, just my face. So a bit bummed about that. And I thought, okay, I'll have to redo it. So I recorded again with the face and the screen. Great, I thought. Okay, it turns out I recorded at thumbnail resolution. So apparently you need to keep these skills fresh. So this is actually the third time I'm gonna record this now. And the, the more I do it, the less I'm gonna like the spaceship. But the good thing is that if you're a patron of mine and you want these spaceships, well, you got three spaceships now because I'm gonna upload all three of them to my Patreon site. So if you're a supporter there, thank you very much. I appreciate it and uh, I'll be uploading that. So just to do a quick run through what I've got set up, if you're a little bit new to the channel and you haven't seen all the past episodes, then I've got a uh, blender set up. This is 3.4, so that's pretty good. On the left here, I've got a palette and that's not a built-in palette. Palette. It's a PNG file just with some gradients and if you look in the shading tab It's a material set up with this plugged into the base color So I can just put the UVs onto different spaces there and they'll color it with that palette I also got this emission texture. I won't speak too much about that But it's got black here because in the lower right quadrant you can actually drag the UVs there to have some emission going But again, I'm not gonna be doing that now. So I'm not gonna speak about it anymore So in the UV editing tab usually this is where I model because then if I tab into edit mode and select the face I can quickly just change the color by put pressing G on the left side here So that's gonna be it for this week and Ellie said no, it's not because I'm gonna set my timer now And we're gonna get cracking at modeling this spaceship So I'm gonna do it very similar to I did the first few times and see if I can repeat it probably will like this one less But never mind. That's how it goes all right, you ready? You ready? You ready? Okay, <laughs> that bird's still there. Never mind. Let's model anyway. Ready? Steady? Go. I'm rough. Yes. Time's taken. Tab into edit mode. No. First, auto mirror. Tab into edit mode. Uh, select that face. Uh, e to extrude. S to scale. E to extrude. S to scale. And just get some shape here. E to extrude. S to scale. E to extrude and S to scale. Maybe. And should we do? Maybe select these. E to extrude. S to scale. Rotate. E to extrude, S to scale, E to ex well, okay, apparently not. <laughs> e to extrude, rotate, uh, maybe around the Y axis and S to scale it down, E to extrude. Let's get some weird funky shape going here. And uh, E to extrude again, S to scale. And now let's uh, move these back, shall we? And should we move these forward, shall we? Yeah, why not? E to extrude, <laughs> S to scale. I, I think I've done something, feels like I've done something similar before, yes. I have, <laughs> and uh, never mind. This is my sh spaceships. That's the way they look. E to extrude, S to scale, rotate. I don't know why. There's like an, an old, uh, like uh, Galacticon. Uh, I don't know, space invader type of game. E to extrude, S to scale. Maybe on the Z axis. Uh, e to extrude, S to scale. E to extrude, S to scale. Just get some weird shape going here, shall we? A lot of shall we? Okay, let's uh, extrude these, shall we? <laughs> yeah. E to extrude, S to scale, and there we go. That's the general shape of the spaceship that we want. And that was uh, one and a half minutes spent just uh, getting that. Maybe we'll do uh, Control uh, R. Uh, first, I'll just move this forward a little bit. Control R, six. Oops, not, not 56, six. Alt select a few of these with Shift I to inset and Alt S to scale and get some shape there. And then uh, I'll do Control R and fatten this up a little bit. And then Alt S to scale along the normals there. Should we bring this piece thing in, make it a little bit pointier as well. And then hold the Control key all the way back to there. Make it a little bit bulgier like this too. And uh, here, let's put a cockpit. We need a cockpit. So select a few of these faces and um, 
Uh, maybe we'll do uh, just I to inset. Alt S to scale up. See, I could have extruded that. Just rotate on the Y axis. Get this one up. And uh, that looks like a bit too boxy. So bring that in, bring this in. And here it's the cockpit glass. We'll do I to inset. And uh, E to extrude down. S to scale. And change the UVs to black there. Maybe bring this back as well. Make it a bit bigger. And should we bring this forward? A little bit of detail now. Too many details. Let's skip the details. Uh, let's put an engine on. So grab that on. Shift D to duplicate it. Scale on the Y axis. And scale on the X axis. And then E to extrude it up. And then hold Control and Alt. Ring select there. Control B to do this. Bevel. And A to select everything. Or L to select them. Shift Y to scale on everything except the Y. Control R. Scale this. Uh, here's the intake. I to inset. E to extrude. There's no intakes really on spaceships. But, well, on this one it is. Okay, this one's a bit wonky, so scale zero on the y-axis. Then we'll do E to extrude, S to scale. I'll bulk it up a little bit here towards the back. Control R for some loop cuts. Um, okay, and then we'll do Control R six here. And then Alt select on these again. I to inset and Alt S to scale these out. And then put some color here. Um, I'm gonna do for the emission texture. We don't, we're really not gonna see it on this one, but never mind. Since we're not got emission enabled. And control R, maybe I'll do a little bit more detail here. Control R, maybe like that. Control R, we need to have some, here's the exhaust anyway, E to extrude. Control plus on the keypad, expand that onto there, make that a little bit dark as well where the exhaust is. And uh, maybe we'll put some color here as well. So a little bit darker there. And I don't, I think this is too short. So select there, O for proportional and move that back. Maybe like this. And let's put some fins on here as well. We've got some wonky faces here. Oh, let's bring that back. Top one. Hello. Oh, what's happening? Zed. Zolid. Zolid. <laughs> that was a mistake. Oh, I had proportional on. That's why I have to rectify this now. Never mind. Uh, so I'm going to put some features uh, here underneath. So let's just do select a few of those. Maybe to there. I to inset. Alt test is extrude here as well e to extrude s to scale put some big boxes under here height inset e more intakes can never have too too few intakes too many how am i doing five minutes okay we need uh, let's get some struts going here so select a few of those e to extrude s to scale e to extrude front view rotate e to extrude s to scale rotate and bring them down to there and then control r no nope. control r i said uh, want to have some like features here as well. Control R on them. Hello, Control Z, Control R. Select a few of those. I to inset, Alt S to scale, and should put some features here as well. Uh, just some fake detail here. E to extrude. That's it. And uh, we need to duplicate this, so I'll put some more hatches here. I to inset, uh, E to extrude. A bit darker on the left side there here as well should we do something alt s and that should do it and should we do some uh, we'll do shift d to duplicate here right click do subdivide circle on the loop tools add-on and then i'm just going to do some weird like pipe here so e to extrude r to rotate and then control right click just i don't know that makes no sense but it's going to be there anyway. And then we'll do Shift D to duplicate it. Rotate on the Y axis. Bring that down to there. And we'll make these dark as well. There we go. And then let's duplicate this whole engine maybe. Uh, L. And we need those pipes as well. L, L. Shift D to duplicate. Rotate. And we'll put it. Uh, maybe we'll have to move it a little bit different. There. This is going to be a powerhouse of a ship. Let's put it that way. They overlap, but I don't really care. I don't have time to fix it. So now we need uh, some fins as well. So I'll do maybe to these two. Shift D, scale, G, and E to extrude, S to scale, bring that back. There we go. And then we'll put, should we put another fin up here as well? Yeah, it makes no sense. So let's put it there. Rotate Y. Ah, got my axis 
messed up a little bit. There we go, how am I doing for time? 252, okay, let's put something interesting here in the front. I'm gonna do uh, O proportional and then bring this whole thing in. I'm gonna put some, actually let's bring that forward as well. Here I'm gonna put a hatch, I to inset, E to extrude, and here I'm gonna put some more pipes. Let's put them all the way at the front. Shift D, I need to disable clipping so I can do that and enable clipping again. Uh, subdivide, proportional I want off again. Circle, scale it down, bring it in, bring it back, E to extrude. I don't know what these pipes are doing here, but we'll find out. Shift D to duplicate, bring that down. L, L, and make them darker too. And then I'm gonna put some cover on here as well, so let's do that one. Shift D to duplicate. Scale on the Z axis, E to extrude, and E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, clip it together there. And then L, Shift D to duplicate that one, and then bring that down, rotate on the Y axis maybe, and one minute. So let's put some more panels on this ship. Uh, we need more armored panels, Control R, maybe like this. And here we'll put uh, some light things going. I to inset. Alt S to scale, and then red light, red light, green light. Should we put one here too? Yeah. I to inset. Okay, I missed one. Alt S to scale. Down slightly. Thin, thin wings. Uh, one minute. Okay, time for the armored panels. So maybe I'll do GG to slide that on, get some different shapes on them. And. Here, I want armored panels and a bunch underneath there as well. Here, 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 here. And then I to inset, I again for individual, Alt S to scale them. That's it. Put a little wing here as well, E to extrude, S to scale, G to move, E to, ex e to extrude, S to scale. Bring that back to there maybe. Get some details here. How am I doing? 42 seconds so we can put some more weird intakes here. Some fake, fake details. I to inset, in, not individual, there we go, dark there, and should we put another fin here, no, too many fins, uh, I to inset, E to extrude, some fake details, more fake details, maybe we'll do more fake details here, shift D to duplicate, uh, uh, comma, no, period, individual origins, move them in, E to extrude, S to scale, G to move that down, whatever that is. Here, I to inset, E to extrude, and that's it. Ah. Uh, okay. So, got more details. <laughs> very, very detailed ship here. Okay, we got some tinker time, don't we? That's a lot of engines. A lot of weird looking details on this ship. All right, so considering this was the third time I made this spaceship, thanks to my two blunders the first time I tried it, I'm just making sure I'm recording now, and I am. Uh, so hopefully it's at the right resolution this time as well. So third time is a charm, whatever the saying is. I'm not so happy with it, like ended up with uh, a, a whole bunch of uh, engine details here. It looks very like, a, I don't know, I don't know what it looks like. But what I will mention is uh, if you're unhappy with the result, the way the shape of it, Maybe you can use the proportional editing to get it a little bit back into shape. So let's try that. If I tab out of edit mode, I press O, then you can see I've, I've enabled this uh, uh, regional or the proportional editing. Yeah, that's what it's called. So now if we wanted to change this shape a little bit, I do Alt Z to see through. Maybe I can uh, control and right click and select this whole part of the ship and Alt Z. And then now if I press R to rotate and then on the Y axis, Okay, I disabled proportional for some reason. So proportional editing, rotate, y-axis. Now you can change the overall shape of the whole spaceship like this. Uh, maybe you'll turn it into something that you're more happy with. And I think I would have... I'll save this first, Control S. So if I rotate it, I sort of like the way it was when you fold it over like this a little bit. Actually, it's on individual now. I need to do period and do medium point. Rotate Y, there we go. I, I sort of liked it when the ship had this like sort of a, a tilted look to it. And bring it down to there maybe. 
because uh, I think this front here was a little bit too straight. So if I select a few of these, rotate mouse wheel down and to there and G, and then I think I like this a little bit more. Maybe it's folded down a little bit too much. Do G, Z, back to there. Now it's too narrow, probably. So I'll do Alt Z, G, Alt Z. To see. That was just to get the X ray on. And I don't want that face. Proportional is on G, X. GX. All right, folks, there we have it. So third spaceship, and uh, I don't know, I think I like the first one the best. Uh, that was uh, just uh, like pure from the heart as it went. And then I, I think for the second two tries, I tried to replicate what I did in the first time and it didn't really work out the way I wanted. Got a little bit confused there. But anyway, it was a lot of fun and I need this practice. So if you haven't uh, modeled for a while, make sure that you jump into Blender and do your little modeling duties there. And uh, if you don't know what to do, make a spaceship because uh, even if you fail, it's uh, a pretty good success because it's sci-fi, bombastic sci-fi, side-eye. <laughs> you don't even know what you're going to get and that's pretty good. Too. So you can't really be too unhappy. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks a lot to my patrons. So you're helping me out a bunch right now uh, after this big move to Australia. And I'm trying to make it uh, work as an indie developer here purely and sending my wife off to work and make the proper money. So and I'm really thankful for all you guys who are subscribing and doing the Patreon, of course. So and as well, I'm making this uh, platformer called Ultranova. Jump into Steam and wishlist that if you haven't uh, seen that one already, if you want that one. So until next week, have a great one and I'll see you then. Take care and bye for now.